Welcome back everybody, episode 73 of the SP Spartan series on PES 2016. And yeah, it's Everton and Hull, the last two games of the first half of the season. Two wins would be great, but obviously both tough games as both teams in the top eight. But we could, if we could end the half of the season with 60 points, that would be great. We're going to play these games, we're going to take some screenshots and show you where we are as regards the um, goal scoring charts in case a few people leave in the window because we are maybe looking at getting rid of a couple regulars to try and fund some new blood. Um, I'll let you know more about that if it does happen. But we do think we need to change a few things around and make a few things happen to get where we want to be really. So that's what we will definitely look to do. So a couple changes here just to be tight for the first bit of this game like we always like to be. And TE can play instead of the Nordved in there and Barnett. No he can't because Barnett's not available so it will stay like that. Callard will be on there for Bruno Perez. Nalanda may be leaving the club. He's one that possibly can go. May well go. We are looking at getting rid of Luis Adriano. Dateful we'll get rid of Abu Bakr. We're not sure yet. Um, Nalanda definitely might go. We are looking to see if there's any interest in Nordved. He's worth like 11 mil. So possibly... And Exaka, the other one that will possibly be going. So we are looking at a few people out the door in an attempt to make things happen and get some people we want. One of those people we are looking at, obviously, we've got a bid in place and we can raise 20 million funds to get Roman or Lukaku from Everton, which would be a fantastic signing for the Spartans. But we've also got a Deal in place for Simone Zaza from Juventus, who also would be a good signing, but a cheaper option. So those are two forwards we're really looking at. Which way we strike on them, I'm not sure yet. We've got our own fantastic striker in Tyvee, but he does need help up there, and he's not getting it at the moment from Abubu Bakker and Luis Adriano. Obviously, Toroy is a different kettle of fish, a youngster that comes off the bench. Not really fully fledged yet we've got to stick with him I think great save from Butler and Roman Lukaku expecting the bag from there 1-2 James McCarthy really expected that to be a goal on his left great save Jack Butler there he is come to our club Roman make all your dreams come true we hope Well, I, how have we survived that? I don't know, but it's not gone yet. And we haven't survived it because Gareth Barry's banged it in. Thought we got away with it. No, it dropped and they scored. And this is going to be a tough afternoon now. Whole side is disjointed at the moment. We're not flowing. We do need some new blood to try and get, get people in settled positions. Get Tyvee back to probably playing on the left rather than up front. I know he's decent there, but he's ineffectual when, when, they, when the play is deep. He can't hold the ball up and he's no good in the air. So there's no focal point to our attacks when he plays up top. Unless we can get the ball in behind. And that has been a problem in recent weeks. When teams have sat so deep against us, he's just done nothing. Another good save from Butler. This is one-way traffic at the moment. Everton well on top in this game. Can't get a foothold or anything. That is the only blessing, really. We are only one down in a game that we've been totally dominated. And that's what Roman Lukaku gives you. 2-0. And that's what we want. 
desperately. I don't know if we're going to raise 20 mil. But that is what we want. Someone who can do that, hold the ball up so well, and then just shoot it straight in. We're not playing well at all today. Oh, should have scored, opened up for us. What a chance to get back into the game. Half an hour to play as well. It's going to be two bad defeats in a row here. Oh, Toivy with a chance. Got his foot from knocked under him, surely. Nothing given, though. Ref won't give it. Oh, and again, the 1 2 nearly works. There's been encouraging signs. We just haven't been able to get the fin. Look at their strength from the Romulo Lukaku over Nordved up there. That's impressive. 2 defeats in a row against 2 from the top 8. It's not good news. We've got to be competing better. Poor way day this. Real disappointing game. We've got to be up for it against Hull. That's a game we've got to be on the medal for. Can't afford to be so slack as we've been in this game. Massive underachievement that. Really poor game from the Spartans. One of those that we seem to throw in every now and then. An ever uncomfortable winner is Barry with the first. Ronald Lukaku with a very impressive second. And he showed some real strength in that game. Spartans didn't manage a shot on target in the whole 90 minutes, which is atrocious. Still in the top 10, but like I say, that gap now, seven points to the top seven. And we're going to have to have a fantastic second half of the season to get there. Bottom three, Middlesbrough, Leicester and Newcastle. We have Hull now, who are third. And this ain't going to be an easy match. Lipton going up even more. What is this coming on the screen? That's Fofana. What's he doing? He's already a general. We knew that. Has he gone up even further? Level two. Level two. General now. Managers offer us from all over the place. We won't be taking any of them on. Updating a couple transfers. Gonna have some options, I think, transfer wise. Look at the list, it's getting longer and longer. 13 million for Stones, 14 million for Arnold. Baba Car, they see 8.7 million. That's a lot of money for him, probably. In fact, we could we adjust that? What was the figure to adjust it? 51. We'll have a little whirl at it and see what happens. Romanu 20.5. Gomez 12 looks a good signing. Zaza, we've got plenty of stuff going on. We need offers for a few though, really. Going to go in with that, going to give a boo back or his head in this game. Hopefully make something happen. We need to beat Hull, simple. We've won some of these big games lately we've needed to, but Hull's... Flying high, they've absolutely crushed teams in the Europa League as well. So it's not just domestically. We really need to do something. Last game before the window opens as well. Bernat. Oh, what another great ball. Abu Bakr can't get his shot away, but we're all over the hole here. Playing some good football, just can't make the chance. Nice turn from Razor Bazaar. Oh, just off for Boo Backer. That must have been close, just one early. It's a good knock though. Tyvee! Oh, that's brilliant from Tyvee. Forty minutes gone here and really has been all Spartans, but we've not got our just desserts again. 
Bofana! Oh, good effort. Half time. Crowd will applaud because the Spartans have been good against a good side hole, and we're unlucky we're not leading this. We really are. Don't know what we can do, really. Fofana on a blue. We are going to take a gamble here. I'm going to bring on Giovinco. And he's got license to go forward. That's the player we're desperately missing. Someone with an attacking zest in that midfield. Good ball carrier with strength and pace. Giovinco isn't been the one. But he's the only one really at the moment in the camp. The land is not really up to the level of the Premiership. Not top echelon anyway. Do a good job for a side down in about 13th, 14th. But we want better than that at the moment of the Spartans. Hole looking dangerous like they might just nick this. That would be a catastrophe. Game we were hoping for three points. Again, the ball drops it without any threat. Xhaka giving it away in the midfield awfully. Lucky he's there to win it back. Bizarre. Luis Adriano, what a chance. Had to take it first time and didn't. Oh, good play with Tyvee. Should have bought the opening goal, maybe. Once again, we've had it. absolutely nothing from Giovinco. Tyvee. Tyvee! Oh, had a chance to run at him, and that's what you can do. Not this time, though. It's a nil-nil. And there's no goals in the whole episode for the Spartans. Sorry, guys. But we are now in the window. I know we've got to try and stay focused on results during the window. But it's our chance to mould a team if we can now. And try and make some stuff happen. Disappointing display, really. Whole are up there, though, and they are a tough nut. We didn't lose, but we may well drop out of the top ten, and we have. And it's now nine points to Everton, and that's a massive amount we're going to have to make up in the second half to get European football. And that is disappointing, to say the least, as we wrap up the first half of the season. Lipton still on the rise, down to 3.7. So there it is. Only two wins in the seven matches, which is a poor month, as you can see. That is a poor month. That great win at Tottenham. And it really went poor after that. No win in the last three in the league, as you can see. Chelsea, Everton and Hull. And goals have dried up as well. Only one, no goals for Tyvee in the month. It's disappointing. Razor Bazaar having a very good month, as you can see. Bruno Perez as well. Two very good players, those two. No doubt about it. We want to just... Go and do the, I know it's going to come to all this shit, but we just want to do the screenshots of the halfway point. So if any people who've been here a long time do end up leaving, we've got a record of what they've done. You know, if Nudved does end up leaving, obviously we want to know all about what he's achieved because he has been a big part in this series. Now you see, he has played 22 games. 15 goals for Tyvee in 23 games. He's had 15 for a long time now. Down at the bottom, six goals for Manu El Hadi. He's had a decent time of it, there's no doubt about it. Goals, not enough from anywhere else for me though. Three Luis Adriano, one Giovinco's been very poor. Torori of a couple, but it's not enough. Not enough assists either there from the light. No goals from Carrasco. Mm, it isn't good enough. Going forward, it's not been good enough this year. Simple as. Got to do something about it in the second half of this season. Next, it's Sunderland. Very early in the window. I doubt there'll be any deals to tell you about by then, but we'll have to see. Cheers for viewing, dudes. Just